Uh, blower is not working so might as well check for voltage at the blower oh, here's the blower right here and it looks like it's similar to the BMW setup where you've got the power output stage um, I'm not wearing my reading glasses, it almost looks like it's a little melted here from overheating. But anyways, there's a, it looks like a power source right here. That looks like a big ground. So this is the motor, uh, power and ground, which goes through the, uh, the, the uh, power output stage here and then gets grounded here. So let's just check for power and ground. And then I think you've got two control wires here. Turn the key on first. We can see if uh, there is any type of blower action. It's on maximum, I don't hear anything. Find a good ground somewhere. No metal, no ground anywhere that I can attach to. Sometimes you can use this uh, door hinge. But sometimes that's not enough of a good contact. Actually here you can see my light coming on, so that's good. I'm just checking the blower itself, there's nothing going to it. Let's just make sure the ground is good. We'll take our paper clip. We know the power is good. And then we touch it to ground over here. And we've got a light that comes on. So I know the power and the ground is good. Um, and now we just need to know if the motor is okay. <clears throat> Hopefully this guy will come out with everything in place here. Very similar to the BMW. <laughs> Check for communication signal. So I know my power and ground are good, so I'm going to back probe the ground here. I have to make sure that I get a nice, good connection. Not that easy sometimes. And then one of these two should be some kind of a signal. Okay, that one. That's a that's a ten volt signal right there. <clears throat> it's gonna go to speed one, two. There's speed three, and you can see there is a pulse width modulated signal. So I'm gonna have to go to uh, to scope lab scope so right now you can see there's a uh, 3.5 volt averaged signal that's about halfway 50-50 uh, almost let's go one more notch that looks more like 50-50 uh, uh, there was a 10 volt input on the one, one cable uh, and you can see the square wave now uh, pretty much 
equal, so that's 50-50 on, off. Uh, you can see the bars here are a little bit past the middle, so there's four bars. So I'm gonna go five bars now. It's a 5.7 volt signal, and uh, six and seven. So at the full maximum speed, it's a 7.8 volt signal. At the, yeah, sorry, let's just start at the beginning. One bar, two volts, two bar, 2.7, 2.6, three bar, 3.4, 4 bar, 4.5, 5 bar, 5.7, 6 bar, 7, 7 bar, 7.8. So we know we the switch is good, control is good, uh, but something, the, the computer doesn't like something with this motor here. I plug it in, it's going to go on, but uh, it'll shut off. Yeah, it just shut off something it doesn't like something internally uh, it could very well be that this power output stage it doesn't like but uh, we're gonna put in a motor at this point Okay, new motor is in. As you can see, I marked it uh, April 18. Um, we know that the power and ground is good. We know that the um, command signal is good. Um, yeah, so it's plugged in now. Let's see what happens. Uh, it's off. Click on one. Sorry, you got to click on the big, big fan first. Um, let's go up here so I can feel better. Speed three, you can't hear it, but I can feel it. Four, five, six, seven. You can hear that. Let's go feet. Where are the feet? No feet. Down. And you can hear that better. It's coming out of the nozzles here. The old motor would have shut off by now. So that's a good enough fix in my book. Sorted.